Mr. Terry, you have a three-year-old. Yes, I have a three-year-old and a four-year-old. But you had a three-year-old who was in the care of the defendant. In yes, ma'am. As a daycare yes, provider. How long had the three-year-old, boy or a girl? Boy. How long had he been in her care? Uh, approximately uh, maybe a year and a half. And there came a time in June of last year that your son was injured while at Miss Walter's home. Yes, Your Honor. You have a daycare service in your home? Yes. Are you licensed? Yes. Are you required to have insurance? No. Do you own your home? Yes. Do you have homeowner's insurance? Yes. The child was injured while in your care. He had his finger smashed in a door. Correct. How many children did you have at the time? Eight. Between the ages of what and what? Between the ages of two to ten. And how many people do you have employed to help you take care of these children? Two assistants and me on site. Who were your two assistants? Vanessa Parham and, um... How old is Vanessa? She's 35. Who's the other person? She's just another assistant. How old is she? 55. Do either of the assistants have children in your daycare? Yes. Vanessa? And she's there full-time? She's there part-time. So that you don't have two full-time people working for you. At most, you have one and a half people working for you because Vanessa has a child there so that she can work. Yes. Okay. You have to pay for the injuries that Mr. Terry's son sustained while in your care while you were taking care of eight children, mostly by yourself. Did he present you with his medical bills? No. Did you ask him for his medical bills? No. Why not? Because I know he had Medicaid, and the bills were paid through Medicaid. Is that correct, Mr. Terry? Yes, sir, ma'am. Yes, sir, I have Medicaid. So that you have no medical bills? Um, no, I'm not here for the medical bills. I'm here for his injuries, Your Honor. Um, I left my son in her care, and it's like she's minimizing the situation. My, when I got to her house... Listen to me. His finger got smashed in a door. His finger was ripped off, Your Honor. I have, I have photos right here. Well, you actually didn't say that here. You said that his finger was smashed so that he doesn't have any feeling at the tip of his finger. Correct, Your Honor. Right. Mr. Terry, let me ask you a question, sir. You had two children in Miss Walter's care. She takes care of eight children, mostly by herself. Didn't you think that that was too many children for her to watch at one time? When I first went to her daycare facility, um, but there wasn't, none of the talking... kids was there. Well, then that's your problem. If I were to take my children to a daycare facility, all I'm asking you is, sir, the child had an accident. She didn't purposely smash the child's finger in a door. She had eight kids that she shouldn't have been taking care of, practically all by herself. That's her business, and she should have had insurance, which she didn't have. She had homeowner's insurance, and she should have put this claim through homeowner's insurance. Maybe you would have been able to collect. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, Your Honor. I would have certainly required her to pay your medical bills. But then when it comes down to your son's pain and suffering, I assume you went to an attorney. Yes, Your Honor. And I assume the attorney said to you, not much I can do because she has no insurance. Yes, Your Honor. Right. So then you came here. Now I'm saying to you, from my side, if I would take my children to a daycare facility or summer camp or an after-school program, I go and see what it's like when it's in full swing. So if you tell me when you went there there weren't a lot of kids, you weren't doing your job. Now, I have another question. This incident happened in June of 2017. Yes, June what? June uh, 15th. And do you have custody of your two children? Yes, Your Honor. Full custody of both of them. Do you work full time? No, Your Honor. What do you do? I'm a college student, Your Honor. How old are you? I'm 48. What do you do during the summer if you're a college student? I'm in school during the summer, Your Honor. Who took care of the children during the summer of 2017? Rise and Shine daycare facility. Starting when? Approximately three months after the incident happened. So you left your children in the plaintiff's care for an additional three months? No, Your Honor. What did you do with them? I took care of them. I had to take my kids because no one, like I said, I have full custody of them, so like their mother, no one's around. No, Mr. Terry? Yes. You said you go to college during the summer. You're 48 years old. Yes. I said to you, who took care of your children during the summer of 2017? I did. Mr. Terry, you had no medical bills? No, Your Honor. You have no case. Your Honor, Your Honor, please, Thank may, you. May I, may, I, may, I, may I present my evidence? I'm just I'm telling here. you, he had an accident in the daycare facility. If you but had Your medical Honor, bill, listen to me. Yes, if you had medical bills, I would have taken care of your medical bills. You had no medical bills. You have no case. I'm dismissing Honor, it. Goodbye. Please, could you please give me a second, Your Honor, to present my case, Your Honor? I just did. Why well, is that excuse to me? Step out.